Hey everyone, about to get started on another project here. I have these uh, old aluminum rims and as you can see they are uh, they're quite corroded. Uh, so what I want to do is powder coat these things. So I'm just going to walk you through the whole process here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get these things real nice and clean, uh, even before we sandblast them. So I'm going to use some of this uh, Pour 15 cleaner degreaser. So we're going to spray that stuff on. We're going to give it a good scrubbing with a little wire brush here. And then we're just going to pressure wash it all off. most of the the grease off anyway so that's one done three more to go so now we've got it cleaned up it's time to put it in the sandblasting cabinet Sandblasting's finished. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here with some sandpaper, got a little sanding block, and I'm just going to give everything a nice sand, kind of take some of the roughness that the sandblasting leaves behind, and uh, then we're going to clean it and spray it. So once you finish sanding it down, uh, best thing to do now is to come and use some more of your uh, cleaner degreaser and I'm just doing it uh, in my tub here so I sprayed it on I've got a nice little brush there and you give this a good scrubbing to make sure you get all the grease off now this next step is really important uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the rim and we're going to preheat the oven up to 350 degrees and we're going to bake the rim for about an hour. And what that's going to do is it's going to basically burn off all the gases and impurities uh, out of the pores so that when we put this in with the powder and bake it, you're not going to get stuff kind of bubbling up. So let's toss it in the oven. Okay, I just finished baking that thing to uh, get all the gases out of it, out of the pores. Now, I'm just about ready to spray it with the powder, uh, but we need to do a couple things in preparation first. You need to uh, get your oven up to temp, 450 degrees. Make sure you got an air regulator on your gun, and you need to dial it down to about 8 PSI. Now, I'm using the, uh, the Eastwood dual voltage powder gun, and I've got my red paint on there for the rims. And I currently have it set to uh, uh, on the dual voltage, I have it set on the high setting because we're doing a larger surface area. Okay, let's spray this. I'm going to start at the back and work my way to the front. So you take this little button here. When you want to start spraying, push that down. And away we go.
Okay, that's looking good. That's good coverage. So now I'm going to carefully get it in that oven. Check on our part, see how it's doing. Okay, it still hasn't started to flow out yet, so we'll check it back in about another five minutes, see how it's doing. Okay, I'm not sure if you can tell, but you can see there it's starting to uh, to glaze over. They call that flowing out when uh, it starts to turn gel-like. So now that it's done that, we're gonna set the heat down to 400, and we're gonna bake this thing for half an hour. Okay, everybody, it's all finished. It's out of the oven and uh, cooled down, obviously. Check this thing out. Did that ever turn out nice? There's a few imperfections here and there, but overall, this thing turned out very, very nice. Real happy with the results. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned some nice tips and tricks and uh, 